Alright, good evening once again everyone. My name is Mr. Smeg Hennigan, and tonight we're going to be doing, well, a big old fantastic set of levels, which is basically the last three stages of this game. We're going to be doing the entr- Damn, that's a loud slam. We're going to be doing the entrance hall first, then we'll be doing the second to the last stage, and then the final stage. But for now, we're just going to be piloting the uh, ghost ship. And he's a lot better at parking than I am. I can give him that much. And he just drops himself off. Oh, someone has set up the the little boarding thing already. That's nice. The entrance hall, also known as one of the easiest stages in the game. You know, ignoring the little imps. Let's talk to him first. Sir Daniel Fortescue, standing bold as you like in the foyer of Xanox Castle. Who'd have thought it? Not us, that's for sure. Nice. We's afraid the master of the house is out trying to plunge the land into eternal night. But come on in and make yourself at home. Hooray! Did I get to leave a message? Oh, that's the thing I forgot about. I am very low on health. At least I can macerate these little wing winges. Okay, so the imps can't be hit with something that can... Hey, cool, can I land on these? Okay, so basically... I can't land on that. The imps are magically enforced so that I can't throw things at them. Hopefully I don't find any more of those sticky fingered imps. Those things are annoying. Haha. Oh. <laughs> -ha. Alright. Enough fanning about. Anything down here? Let's see it. Alright. Alright. Yeah, as you might be able to tell, this is very much a basic stage. Not much going on here. Okay, so throwing the axe doesn't do anything, obviously. Uh, is this getting okay, frame lag? I never thought that would happen. Which way do I go? Is it down here? Ooh, health that I'll have that, thank you. These buggers leave me alone. God, he didn't even see me coming. Or hear me coming. I hope there's health vials somewhere, otherwise I'm going to be very much up the creek. Gonna heal up? Ah. Oh. oh, wrong button. Let's walk down here. Ooh, there's a little gargoyle. Oh, I can't look that way. They must not have entered that texture. Oh. You know what, Solid? I may as well fully repair my shield now. There we go. Sitting on all this money, I'm never going to end up using it. Hmm. This is a nice place. Oh, well, there's the exit already. Somehow, I'm going to... I'm going to go grab the chalice first. I mean, I may as well make this a proper trip. I can't go to your... Arch nemesis is is arch nemesis uh, household without robbing the place, can you? Or maybe you can. I don't know. Some people are just different. All right, down these stairs. More of these little beggars. Slice and dice. Ah, there we go. We've got lovely murals. Why's he got ghost ship? Well, ship murals in general. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is where another one of those imps come. In. Look at him. Look at him with his hands. I'll beat the snot out of you with the own arm. Okay, this is not turning out as well as I'd hoped. I feel like maybe. Oh, buggerations, they all come out at once. It's horrifying. Oh. Give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that. Stop. Stop that, stop that. Put that down. There we go. Just pinch me sword and I'm out of here. 
Oh wait, hang on, there were books to read. I hate these little buggers. They almost always steal something. Even if it's partially my own fault. Good thing I didn't throw this thing away then. Ah, finally. Alright, let's read the books. Spellbook. Contents. Raising the Dead, page 5. Putting a town to sleep, page 71. These are some really weird, uh... That's one hell of a concise, uh, thing. Or very unconcise. Looking good for the over 400s. Page 136. Yeah, I can understand why you'd need that. Rowing people of their free will. Page 200. That's a lot of pages for looking good. <laughs> Summoning demons. 268. Card tricks. Fair enough. Sometimes you gotta know those things. Secret Diary of Zarek. 100 years I've spent in exile using my anger to keep me warm, feeding off my suffering, relaxing with my angst. Wait a minute, I thought I was reading his diary, not his Tumblr. Anyway, but soon they will f They will pay, all of them, including Fortescue. He thwarts my first plan to conquer Gallimere and then posthumously claims to have killed me. When I find him, I'm going to get medieval on his bony behind. Isn't it medieval already? Anyway. I ain't never liked him anyway, always hanging around the court, interfering. Where are you going with that dead cat, Zarek? Where'd you find that brain, Zarek? Wretched busybody. Let's see, I was annoying in life as I was in death. Let's get the sword back. And the shield. Gotta look all fancy like whilst robbing people. Obviously, I can't go that way. There's water in the way. What do you think you're doing trying to go that way, buddy? Yeah, I'm sorry. Alright, up the stairs I go. And out of Zarek's domain, where I shall then end up being deposited at the uh, Hall of Heroes. You know, again. Thank you. This is a shock cargo. Come on. God damn, really? I must abide by the law of the stairway. Stair rail. Alright, let's get out of here. I want to take a look around here. Okay, maybe not. Well then, that was a nice little, uh, venture, I suppose. Anyway, we shall be going to the Wall of Heroes again to pick up another item. Maybe it'll be a life bottle, who knows? Or maybe it'll be more money. No more talking from the gargoyle again. That tends to happen. Anyway, let's dash on over here. That was not the smartest idea I've had. And look at this, it's my favourite hero again. That's what you gotta say. Hey, Danny man, I was at so bearing up. I told you it was magic, right? I've got some here I can give you, but I've no idea what it is. Do you fancy your chances, like? They never know what these things are. Oh, how about that? I was right for once. A magic... magic life bottle. Let's get the hell out of here. Thank you there, Cockney man. Dirk, steadfast even, my mistake. Alright, let's teleport out and go on to the final stage of this game. Or the final level of this game. You know, with actual platforming and what not. First off, save. I'm going to restart the recording because I'm pretty sure that stage is going to take a bit more than five minutes. But yeah, you'd think people would be able to spot a giant castle like that. But then again, Eternal Night, I suppose that would be, um... What was it? I suppose Eternal Night would be a thing that would stop people from spotting such a thing. Anyway, I'm going to be doing the time device, but first I will be restarting the recording. One minute, please. Okay, so, now that we're, um, back to here, let's do the time device. The final true stage of the game. As you can see, Daniel is poking about again. Whoop, down he goes. This is why you don't touch random things, Daniel. There's me cable again. That is one hell of a tower. You'd think it... That's a lot of cobwebs as well. Clang. This is a very strange and... Oh, there's a train! Awesome. Very strange landscape, I will say. The time device with all the signs of the zodiac. Outstanding. I suppose that makes sense. Oh, using numbers. Who needs numbers? Alright. Ooh, a butterfly sign. Oh, great, the Boiler Knights are back. Gotta chop all these guys up before they try to... Oh. Huh, apparently that was a thing I could kill. 
All right, right there, buddy. What have you got to say to me? Using a dark magic called science, Whoa. Zarok has constructed a device based around the mechanical measurement of time. Neat. The innards of this chronograph are fiendishly complicated. Keep your eye on the flying timepieces and get ready to reset the hands of the master time clock. Basically, not these little clocks, they're just sort of there to look awesome. I've got to look out for... Oh! Okay, that is a hole. I'm just making sure. Very strange. Anyway, I've got to look out for floating clocks. Like big old clocks. Something rather not... Oh, oh the music's kicking in now. Rather something like that. Alright, so gold hand on M, silver hand on, what was it, Pisces? I forget, I forget exactly how these things are. Bounce here. Oh, hate these things. Really gotta think about how to use these. Oh boy. If you couldn't tell, the controls mixed with the camera don't make this the easiest thing to control. There we go. Alright. Gotta do this, do this, do this, do this, and then. There's one thing I remember, it's how to move a clock. There we go. And that opens up. Unfortunately, I can't. Ooh, life bottle. Life bottle. I want the shiny. Unfortunately, I can't get to it yet. Though I do hear a life uh, fountain. A rejuvenation fountain, as it were. Okay, so let's macerate this so boy. Ooh, I like I like the design there, that's very nice. Alright. Go along the floating gears as well. Very nice. If you don't like ticking, then you're gonna hate this stage. Oh that was smart. Hop over here. Ooh, treasure, I'll have that, thank you. Another shield. Suppose that's useful? Oh, you. Leave me alone. Alright, I've got the time rune rather fittingly. Alright. Here we go. I will say, I do like the design of this stage. Even if it, even if these brain things are a little annoying. Alright, so there's an eyeball here. Oh, right, I had to do that. That's all. Oh, that was smart. Oh, there's another clock to look at. Alright, so stripe silver thing on the stripes. Golden on the Scorpio? I think it was Scorpio. Don't think I have to change too much. I really hope I read that right then. Because uh, I did that before. Oh it did work. Yay! Time for the confusion confusion that comes from trying to figure out how this piece of crap works. Oh, that that happened. Okay, I'm not even trying anymore. Oh, never mind that. Ticking time. Oh, okay, now that's just silly. Get out of my way, eyeballs. This is my chaos rune. Oh, well, that was smart. This is very... Uh, what's the word? Very saturated in terms of things. Oh, well, that was smart again. At least the music's good. Uh, cut. There we go. And up we go. Now, there is a way to do this thing, but I just don't remember how. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's right. I've got to turn this. Oh, that hurt. There we go. Deactivate all of those and I can get the uh, Earth Rune. I can go grab that last uh, life bottle, but if I do this right... The chalice is free! Oh man. I maintain they really, really liked their uh, crystals in these old PlayStation games. Alright, there's something down there. Means that is a hoop. Hey, I got it. 
lots of money. Loads of money. Oh, well that hurt. Five health left in this bottle. Alright, let's get back. This is a very strange level, if you might, if you haven't figured. I think the clock changes as well, so I better check to make sure. No, it's still the same. Virgo and Pisces. I think it's Pisces. There we go. Alright. Come on, button. Button, button, button. We gotta keep on buttoning down the hatches. Over here we go. Grab the last life bottle. I now have all of them. As well as a health. Health! Lots of health. Probably gonna only fill about one bottle, unfortunately. As well as my whole health bar, but better than nothing. Anyway, let's listen to that thing drain. Alright, hopefully there's health vials around here somewhere, otherwise I'm going in dr well, dry. Technically? I don't know. Oh, that didn't do it. Bounce here. And up we go. Alright, let's fathom a guess at what this will end up being anyway. Click and click. Alright then, time dealy. Oh, it did work. Cool. Alright, now that I've got everything, I can get crushed by this thing. That makes sense. Get off. Wow, this is outstanding. Get off, me. This metal keep houses the magical chariot that Zarek calls his train. The path it runs along leads eventually to Zarek's lair. However, your route is blocked by gates controlled at various way stations. Travel to these on the trains, open the gates, and head for the lair. Amazing. Now then. There's several pathways for me to choose from, like this one. It's very shiny. And that's the way that leads to Zarek's domain. Alright, I've got to get the moon runes at some point. But first, I must push this. Very silly way of moving the bloody train, but I suppose Zarek has his helpers to do that for him. Board this thing and get on get on to Trainsville. Population. This awesome looking train. Oh, I can't move. I suppose that makes sense. Last thing I need to do is fall off in a place and then have the train not return. Ooh, money. Oh, come on, I didn't even get a chance. Get off me. Hey, look, the shield actually works now. Down you go. Alright, let's go down here, grab the moon rune. Wow, this is a big brain. Ah, this is silly. Bouncy. No. Get your buckshot out of me face. I'm gonna need to repair my shield though. I think I'd use the uh, silver shield more, but oh well. Services repair, thank you. Oh, that was all. Oh well. Boring. Alright. Choo choo. Going in reverse. Not the best idea for a train in all honesty, but whatever. Gotta give uh, Zarek props, he managed to actually build this thing. Such, a, such an unfortunate thing that he just didn't like kowtowing to. Oh, hang on. More dudes for me to macerate. No. I don't believe I'll be stopping anytime soon. That all? i just do with one more. Oh. Bugger. Fortunately, the train doesn't go this way. So I'm just gonna have to keep on pushing. I'm trying to look at the. There we go. Clicked into place. We can now move on to the next area. Fill up the chalice, go grab it again. Probably pause the recording just to, before I go grab it. Then I will go on to the Hall of Heroes for my final prize. Don't know what it could be. I've got all the life bottles. See, now they're just trying to shoot me when I'm not even able to do anything. That's just... Another life fountain. Alright, chalice can be collected. 
What's up that yonder? Get off me. You're barely a challenge when I have the... Oh, hello. Oh, yeah, that's what I've got to do. I've got to open up both gates so I can get to Zarek's lair. Alright. Stop? I think not. Haha, I can strafe you. Grab... Oh, uh, fully heal once I've made my... Well, once I've opened up the second gate. Oh, no. That was not exactly my best decision, but, well, I've done worse. Okay, so I've got three minutes with which to fully heal, grab the chalice, and get to the end of the stage. I can't hear it, but I'm mashing this thing like a fucking son of a bitch. Alright, that's fully healed five, six bottles. And now for the seventh one, which will be almost full. Considering how well I did last time, I'm doing a lot better this time. Now, does that mean I've been recording before? Well, that's for you to figure out. And for me to know. Any damn way. Let's take the train back to Louisville. Um, wait a minute. I don't even know what that means. Oh, man. Look at me go in reverse. Choo-choo! Alright, drop myself off here. And then... Let's see. Can I get to the true? This is silly. Oh, that that was painful sounding. And hop. Heck yes. All right. Now that I have the chalice, I'm going to pause once more. I do apologize. All right. Now then, we're on the home stretch. We've got all the chalices, all of the life bottles, and all of the cares and weapons. How do I... There we go. What pipe? This doesn't make sense. This makes total sense. Shut up. Get past here with nary a care in the world. Hop. Oh, well, that was smart. Alright, my shield is still thin. Very well. Alright, let's see. I'll point in the right direction. I'll handle that. As you see, if, you may not have seen that, but the something that stops the train from moving forward. If the yeah, the little track there it folds up if it's not aligned right. I like that. This is a very lovely train. Oh, and it just tried to go off the rails for a second. That would not have been very good there, buddy. <laughs> All right. Doot. Time for the final visit to the Hall of Heroes, you know, gameplay-wise. Where we shall have a lovely surprise waiting for us. First off, Torky. It's the Gargoyle again. You prove us all wrong. Yay. Maybe it is destined to be a hero. Maybe it can defeat Zarok. The people of Galamir may never know of your past mistakes. Oh. And you will indeed be remembered as the people's hero. Hooray! Your time in exile is over. Welcome to your new home, Sir Daniel Fortescue. Hooray! As you can tell, that means I've collected all of the chalices, all 20 of them. And look, my statue. And it makes sense now that it's... Oh, skeletal looking. Oh man, look at that thing. Makes sense it's all skeletal looking because Daniel did the hero thing, or was all heroic, whilst he was dead. You know, without a jaw. Anyway, more talky. Daniel, thank goodness you're still safe. I have a gift I can give to you, but sadly, I can't say how useful you will find it. You never know. Hell yeah, full heal. Shing. I still need to figure out what her accent is. Anyway, yeah. This is going from strength to strength. I've got all my health, all of my life bottles filled. I'm now truly a hero in the Hero Hall of Heroes. Well, Sir Daniel is my mistake. And now I only have one stage left to complete. Beautiful, isn't it? And that stage is... Safe progress. I mean, <laughs> no, obviously it's not safe progress. I mean, Christ, if it was, if that was the stage, then it would be very boring. Considering, 
compared to my old fall, I did this relatively faster. Anyway, final stage. Zarek's Lair. Which, again, means I'm going to restart the recording. Do apologize once more, but I've got to get the full 10-15 minutes out of this. Alright, now to dive in feet first at Zarek's Lair. He's not going to have seen it coming at all. Man, that place looks amazing. You'd think it would be like a huge level, right? With a giant gem at the top you'd have to smash. Nope, you just get dropped off by the happy little tr- <laughs> I think he's really freaking happy, I just noticed. <laughs> it's like Thomas the Tank Engine went goth. <laughs> anyway. There's a little shop gargoyle there. Hi there. We never thought you'd get this far. Thank you. Your final encounter with Zarek awaits beyond this point. He has surrounded himself with his unnatural bodyguards, but you may get even the odds by calling upon the lost souls collected within your chalice. Place the chalice on the shield at the heart of the arena. Oh boy. Good luck, Sir Daniel Fortescue. And that is my respect earned, ladies and gentlemen. Whoever is watching. Services, let's fully heal the shield. Don't know if I'll have any daggers, but well, better to be safe than sorry. Door slams shut. Yes. That is one hell of a way to stand. Like, oh man, my back's killing me. Gotta grab this item, which is good lightning. It's shiny. And then, as you can tell, it's kind of like regular lightning move, which I never really showed off. Thinking about it, well, I suppose this will show it off more than anything. Sir Fortescue, my old nemesis, so we meet again. Oh yeah. I see that a century spent as worm food has done nothing to diminish your naive obsession with the freedom of Galomir. Yeah, why does Galomir need to be free anyway? Oh look, skeletal knights. You'd think I wouldn't be. Able, you'd think I'd be able to handle this, but well, following cutscene will prove otherwise. Look at them, they've got lovely little shields with Zarek's face on them. They arrange himself in a lovely row. And now... Prepare to attack, my warriors. I want the dogs gnawing marrow from those bones within the hour. Ah! What is that, Fortescue? Your lucky cup? Hell yeah! It's lucky I had it, isn't it? Collect all... I think the more chances you collect, the more health these little buddies will have. For, for the, the honor, honor of Galomir! Alright, now for the hardest part of the battle. I gotta keep all these dudes alive. Fortunately, this involves me taking damage. But I gotta play medic until they can win. So, you know, considering considering how often I play Medic on Team Fortress 2, I am used to it. And thankfully, whenever I whenever I use a life bottle completely, it lets me just spam it for a few seconds. Because invincibility and such. And you gotta basically keep everyone alive until they can defeat the skeletal knights. And of course it doesn't help when I get stuck on them. The lightning does the lightning targets enemies and usually heals them, but thankfully these are friendlies. Gotta keep on healing. Once they've all been once they've managed to take someone out, they will end up teaming up on the others. Oh boy, camera angles, I'm sorry about this. You guys are gonna have a headache. Or motion sickness, I don't know. Alright. This is basically how playing Medic is, just keeping a bunch of people alive, hoping that they can take out everyone else. It's a pity that Zarek didn't have a good Medic, otherwise he would have been able to defeat the... He would have been able to defeat me. I've got to really keep the... Ah, here we go. They're slowly winning. As you can see, they're teaming up. Once they've defeated another one, it kind it kind of goes... From an equal equal standing battle to or equal standings battle to let's beat up on the tiny ones. Look at this. I think it's safe to say I've won. The battle is over. This battle is ours. We are free from the of Hell yeah! And here's the best bit: for every little dude you keep alive, 
energy vial. Just wish I could remember where the rest were. Oh. Oh boy, I am so confused right now. Oh, there we go. Grab all the health bars I can, so I can be more alive. Ow, sorry there, buddy. Gotta keep on doing the noise. Hello. Thank you. Aha! Here I am. Second person playing, I think you'll find. Alright. Swap out the good lightning for the magic sword. You always were fortunate in battle, Fortescue. Let us see how you fare against my champion, the late Lord Cardock. He eats people like you as calcium supplement. Hell yeah. Wait a minute, no, that's very bad. You remember Lord Cardock, the guy Kenny Tim shot through the eye? Oh boy, got a flaming horse as well. Kind of rude to bring his horse back as well, don't you think? Well, whatever. Time for the second part of this battle. Where is he? There he is. I can't get close to him. Also, there's a shield. There's a shield. A silver shield in that treasure chest. I don't really need it at the moment. Aha. Oh, boy. I wonder if I could do this without taking damage. Oh. Never mind, then. Basically, this is a hilariously easy battle. Come closer. I just want to show you my lovely sword. Or, well, Dirk Steadfast's, Steadfast's lovely sword. Come on, then. Come on, then. Come closer, I want to hit you. Oh. Oh, boy. He's flailing. I don't like this. Oh, no. You know what, I feel like this calls for some high-level irony. Die with irony, my friend. Let's grab the sword. Bugger. Bugger. Right then, that's it. I've just about had enough of your meddling. Basically, I've annoyed him. And now, he does things. Where is that spell? Ah, yes. Oh boy. <laughs> Whoops. No, not that spell. <laughs> Where'd the horse come from? Um. Oh, oh not right now. That doesn't. That says something strange about Zarek, doesn't it? Aha! Now I have it. Oh boy. Purple. Oh boy. That is something you do not want to tear up and get into a fight with. Unfortunately, Daniel's got to do it. God, that is a face that's been hit with a trouble. None shall defeat the mighty Zarok. <coughs> Embarrassing. So prepare to die, Fortescue. Oh boy. Basically, I don't know what the hell this is meant to be. Oh, well, there goes one life bottle. I didn't even lose a life bottle against Cardock. That's kind of tough. Anyway, yeah, as you might not, as you might be able to tell, I can't get close. I can't touch him when he's glowing blue. When he's uber charged, as it were. The only problem is, he likes staying like that. If you couldn't tell already, the, um, this battle is quite easy if you know how to fight it. Given that the only real difficult... Oh, well, there goes another life bottle. Given the only truly hard part of the battle, of this run-on battle, rather like this run-on sentence, is the first part, where you have to fight off his guards. Alright, he's down to 408 damage. Or health. He starts going all glowy at some point. Like, even more so than usual. This is a very, very weird fight. Oh, hang on, he's changing up. He tries to karate... Oh, boy. Run away. He tries to karate kick you at some point. It's really silly. This is just the stupidest part of the 
fight, really. Because it's like, what are you doing, man? It can set me on fire, but considering how easy it is to keep away, it's just like, yeah, I'm sorry, you're not a threat anymore. See? Dead within two minutes. It's embarrassing. Uh, curse you, Sir Knight. I am finally defeated. Unfortunately. Yet, if I am to fail, then all shall perish. You are doomed, Fortescue. You will never leave this domain. <laughs> Where have I heard that before? Now he brings the roof down, which is kind of a smart and stupid idea. You'd think you'd have seen that one coming. Anyway. So Daniel takes this as an opportunity to run the hell out of uh, the building, considering it's now going to try and crush his skull. And now we have the final cutscene, or one of the final cutscenes, where Zarek's lair has now decided to explode on, you know, Zarek's uh, command. With all the all the cogs of the time device are flying around, and he can use them to escape. Weirdly enough, so this is a little silly, don't you think? Basically, the entire place nukes. And... Whee! Barfed out like an annoying little skeleton. And he's grabbed by the same thing that took him to the ghost ship. I never understood the whole reasoning behind this dude. Anyway... Yeah! This is the end, you guys. Sun's coming up. Weirdly enough, that was all done in one imperishable night. He can't even put his eye on the sun, although that makes sense in a weird sense of the term, considering, well, he has no eyelids. All the good people of Gallows Town are back to normal, which is brilliant. Don't know why they wear string vests, but whatever. Uh, Sir Daniel's dropped off back at his old resting place by the vulture, a vulture type thing. He's pleased about it for some reason, well, for obvious reasons. All of the souls that were taken by Zarek are put back to their original resting places, as is Daniel himself. The magic finally wears off. Well, now the magic wears off. As he finally goes back to sleep. And he had a really strange looking head. But, oh uh, well, somber times suddenly change to this. An amazing thing. The Hall of Heroes with a lovely flag. Everyone's partying, probably because of what was it? Probably because of Sir Daniel finally winning, or because, you know, they're just partying. They can do it. But anyway, they finally noticed that Sir Dan is here. You can't tell without a jaw, but he's happy. Now he shows off in ways that would have impressed the old king. You didn't get that, that by bullshitting. Or whatever. Gotta stop tapping my microphone. But anyway, yeah. Everything is amazing. That's the best ending you can get for this game. Collecting all the chalices. No, all the chalices. As well as all the other prizes you can get. But anyway, it pans out from Gallows Town to the whole planet, practically. And then... A strange nebula that's shaped like Sir Daniel. And that's the end. I hope you've enjoyed watching this as much as I've enjoyed stumbling through it with poorly, poorly timed words. Anyway, my name has been Mr. Smeg Hennigan, and I hope you've enjoyed watching. Thank you. I will, of course, leave the credits on for anyone who wants to watch them, but as of now, I shall shut up. Thank you for watching, again.